How do I? I'm not. Is that it? It's, it's recording. Hey guys. Mm -hmm. Hey, so I'm just gonna. I need to, you know, put like shoes on. Okay, give me one second. So finish that. I know I haven't made a video in a really long time, and I'm sorry. Um, I want to say you guys don't hear my excuse. Let me tell you what this video is about. I think that's what you really care about, honestly. But hey, while we're at it, um, if you want to maybe subscribe, that'd be super, super cool. I always like when people subscribe when new people subscribe when I get new subscribers. I don't know. Let's get to the video. I'm gonna be doing a walk around on my car because since I last posted a video, my car has changed a lot. Um, so, yeah. I suck. But yeah, right now I'm gonna get in my car. We're gonna drive to, I guess, a nicer looking place to where I could actually give a proper walk around and let's go. Okay, so starting right off the bat with an update, I think the biggest thing that I've done to this car, so many cool, wow. I really hope you guys can hear that. Okay, so I kinda get distracted easily, but I think the biggest thing that I've done to this car in, uh, in recent times has definitely been the exhaust. And I'll go ahead and show you that. So what I think is so rad about this setup is I've never seen this exhaust on an E46. And I don't want to say that it's never been done before because I mean, I honestly don't know if it has or not. But when I say that I've never seen it before, I'm saying that no one's ever documented it before. No one's posted it on a forum. No one's made a YouTube video about it. Uh, but check out, this is why I'm so excited. This exhaust, that rear piece of it, I got that piece off eBay for about 40 maybe $50. It's an N1 style exhaust and and obviously can't show you underneath the car, but I'm going to give you the best idea possible. So this car from factory comes with a dual exhaust, so in order to make this work, we got to go ahead and create like a Y pipe so the two could go into one so it could be a single exit instead of a dual exit. And another thing, a part of the exhaust was actually deleted the second resonator, which on these cars is the resonator that's closest to the motor, which gives it the sound that I have, which I think is super neat. Another thing that I did, which is kind of risky, I basically cut off half of the rear bumper, and that kind of sounds really sketch, and it kind of was, to be completely honest, but I did it anyways, and the reason I did it was, in order to run this exhaust, basically, I had to cut the bumper. I mean, if I wanted to run this exhaust, I had to, I had to, I had to do it. And no regrets whatsoever. And honestly, I think it looks sick. <laughs> That's just my opinion, though. Uh, let me pop the hood. Then, whoo! All right. What I love most about my setup right now is the fact that it's so so simple like it's literally all motor so right here was a gallon of a windshield wiper fluid which to me is the most pointless bmw why do you need 
a gallon of windshield wiper fluid. I don't, somebody explain it to me because I don't understand. First of all, I don't even think windshield wiper fluid works. I mean, the only time I even use my windshield wipers is whenever it's raining. That's it. If a bug ever dies on your window and you want to clean it using your windshield wipers and your windshield wiper fluid, I guarantee you, you will only make things worse. I know you guys have tried it, which is why I know that you guys will agree with me. But yeah, that's off on my car. Another thing that I, another thing that we're dealing with here is the secondary air pump right around here that basically helps control emissions. And yeah, I don't, I don't, need, I don't need that. I didn't like it. it. Took up space. And what I'm going for is to have like just a oh, bird just flew right in front. I don't know if I, I don't know if you guys saw that, but that that's awesome. Secondary air pump that's gone because I want to keep things as simple as possible. I work better when things are simple and I don't know, to me it just looks better. Um, before I had a lot of piping running down, running down around here, down to the wheel well. And there, that's where my filter was. But I decided to kind of just go old school, just put the cone filter right on top, right next to the MAF. Um, honestly, just because I think it looks better. There was a scoop right here to help fluctuate the air. So basically, you see these ends right here for the grill. Air goes in and it went directly into the air, but I didn't like it. Well, to me, this works just as well and it looks better. So that's what I'm doing. And here I have a Megan Racing strut bar, which uh, and maybe some of you guys don't like Megan and that's fine. But to me, this gets the job done and it was only like a hundred dollars. So if you want to ball out on your car, that's fine. That's your build. This is what I'm doing in my car and hope you guys can respect it. If you don't, then I'm sorry. And yeah, honestly, it's a pretty basic setup, but I love it. It's the best and woo. But yeah, keeping it simple, keeping it basic. I like that stuff. Um, I guess we can check out inside. Uh, not a lot's really changed here. I have the MZHP steering wheel, which is super cool because it's Alcantara, love it, especially especially living in the valley, it's the best. I have an FIA approved Corbo Forza Sport seat, even got the stamp of approval right there, which is super, super rad. Uh, then, you know, obviously you got the M shift knob. So, if you look closely, if you look closely, right in that window, you might be able to see somebody. That's the reason why I'm in my car actually right now. I guess the lady who works here at night kind of got weirded out that somebody was outside talking to a camera uh, next to their car. And I don't know, I had my, I had my hood open. And yeah, I, I get it, it's weird. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this nice, leave this nice lady alone. Um, but I talked about everything that I needed to talk about. Let's, uh, let's go somewhere else. So that's pretty much the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually had a lot of fun making it. Um, if you guys liked it, make sure to like it. Uh, maybe subscribe if you're into that kind of stuff. I don't know. And yeah, catch you later.